this video is about Jabber and custom fields. Custom fields can be important to use because you can get uh, additional information associated for various entities in Jabber. In this case, uh, these custom fields are for my clients and um, I've got notes and um, different uh, job activities for landscaping um, that we can track and keep um, up to date for each customer's clients needs um, so in order to get over here to this custom fields what you need to do is come up to the uh, um, gearbox here when you click on that you can go and pick the settings once you get into the settings you'll you'll have this menu screen below and you'll see the custom fields click on custom fields and then you'll get access to the custom fields. Notice um, my fields uh, have text values. If I want to add another custom field, you can come over here. Um, so this is a, a client custom fields. If I add a field, um, it's going to ask me some questions. And um, what I would suggest over here where it's field type, there's different values or types to choose from. In order to get a two-way um, syncing to the um, to a spreadsheet, you have to pick text field. These other types will not provide a two-way syncing mechanism, and so um, you'll lose that capability. Uh, you will get a, a an export feature with these other selections here but I want definitely want for all my custom fields I want it to be a two-way syncing situation to make uh, modifications and mass updates very easily so what, what you could do is you could type in a new um, custom field new field name Oops. New field. Whatever you want to call it. So you go there, you pick uh, the text field. And then if you want to give it a default value, yes, no. Um, ask the customer, whatever you want to type in there, you could put a value in there to start up, but you don't, ne you don't necessarily have to put anything in there if you don't want to. And then uh, you can create this custom field. Once you create it, it goes down to the bottom of the client custom fields, which is right here. So now we just added a, a new custom field. At that point, we have a lot of custom fields. And let me show you where that's going to sh show up at. Okay, so I, I pulled up uh, a client's name here, and we can see over here to the right-hand side, there's uh, values, text values for the uh, the various custom fields, and um, so there's a lot of uh, different um, fields that we're going to be tracking here. Um, so that's inside of the client, and those are the new custom fields that have just been added if you select clients and you go to the uh, more actions you can um, export the clients that you have in the system and that will come to your email account uh, once you get that email that will be a spreadsheet where you can go in and modify values inside of that spreadsheet and then you can then import them back in to jobber without having to change those values inside a jobber you can change them in your spreadsheet which is uh, a lot easier if you're making many many mass changes over there in a spreadsheet here is an example of what's inside the spreadsheet that you export for clients the first column here is got the uh, the jobber database 
ID number. And then um, for that row, um, it's got a particular client on there. And then as we scroll across, it's going to start having those uh, client um, uh, text fields that are shown in, in here. They're, they're prefixed with the uh, CFT. So um, if you would like to uh, change something in the spreadsheet, like um, on this one, it's got uh, winter shrub trim. I could come here and I could say, yes, we want, the customer wants to do a winter shrub trim. So then I would save that file here and then go back over to Jobber and import that. And then for this particular customer over here for this row that's got matching to this uh, Jobber ID number, um, it will then change that one custom client custom field um, for the uh, the services that that I was trying to track, which was the uh, the winter shrub trim. Um, you can change many of these um, columns here at one shot, and then um, import those back in, and um, and then you can also do this if you had like 5,000 row, rows in the spreadsheet, you know, you can go and manipulate 5,000 rows if you want. If you only have a couple rows, 10, 20, 30, 100 rows, you can do that as well. And it, it only goes and touches those clients in Jobber that are shown up into the spreadsheet. So once again, when when you get the, um, the text field, um, then it's going to show up with this prefix CFT. When this label in here matches the label in the Jobber, um, then they'll um, exchange the values that are in, this, in the column in the spreadsheet. If those do not match up, then you got to uh, direct that to happen um, in the importing process of Jobber. Once you have all your spreadsheet modifications done, you can come over here and import clients. And um, what you can do is begin the import and um, go and select the, uh, the file you want to import. In this case, I've got a very simple file, um, CSV file. So I'll, I'll load that in here. And um, it's, it's got all these various um, columns so a lot of these columns um, come up green and, and they have a 100% match spreadsheet to the, um, the Jobber custom field inside the tool. So what you do is you kind of scroll down and eventually you get to the custom fields. And um, when you get down to the custom field, you're going to have to let the tool know if you should... Uh, try to synchronize those fields. In this case, I think I was interested in the winter shrub trim. So I am going to check this one include as a custom field. And then it matches up and, um, and that one will synchronize those values. Here's the, uh, the, the change that I made in the spreadsheet. It's on the, on the second row. It, it's showing up as a, uh, a change value and then I'm just going to scroll through the rest of these these are all custom fields since I didn't make a change in those custom fields I'm not going to uh, click those at this particular point and um, the other fixed fields are uh, already green and then over here there's some uh, custom fields for properties so I'm not going to I didn't change anything on those, so I'm not really going to do any of those click buttons. Um, then once you get once you get down there, you can uh, review the changes, and um, it, it kind of shows me I only got one row, and I'm going to add one client um, information change. So if that all looks good. Then I'll hit continue, and then I'll be ready to start 
submitting. Let's see here. And then it, it, it's submitting and it was successful. Um, so anyway, uh, that's kind of what I wanted to show at that point. Um, so anyway, hopefully you found this video helpful. Please like, share, and subscribe.